Stratus has a low-res editor solution now. It's called Edus Access. What we've done is to take Edus Edit and make it work as a proxy editor with all the functionality that you know. So now we're going to look at how those two products, Stratus and Edus Access, integrate together. Here is Stratus right there. I'm going to switch to my storyboard editing workspace, which is going to display the source viewer, the sequence viewer, and of course my little timeline storyboard editing. I can very quick select some shots that I want to add to that little storyboard editing, mark in, mark out, and take them down into the timeline, maybe remove one very quick. Now what I can do with this is save it as a playlist inside Stratus, or I can open that project natively inside Edus Access as a low resolution timeline. I'm going to click on this Launch in Edus button, and this will open Edus Access. Now Edus Access has launched, and what you can see, it is a full Edus editor right here, but in low resolution. On the right hand side, you'll see the beans and the different effects, just like in the full resolution Edus, but again, this is all proxy. And on the left hand side, obviously, you'll see the timeline with the viewers. As you can see in the timeline, the checkerboard indicates that I'm using proxy resolution and not full high resolution. I can play, I can mark in, mark out, do everything you will expect. But what we've done as well to make the integration easier between Stratus and Edus Access is to bring Stratus inside Edus itself. So inside the bin window here, you will notice there is a Stratus tab. Click on it and you'll see the full Stratus experience within Edus Access. I can go in there, use a search tool, navigate, find an asset I want to use, mark in, mark out, add it to my timeline here, and so on and so on. Now I am ready to send this timeline for rendering. I could have done way more right here in Edus Access. I could have had color correction, graphics, voiceovers, and so on. But I'm going to send this using the F11 dialog box inside Stratus. When I press the F11 key, the send dialog box from Stratus comes up. This send destination list is basically set by the administrator inside Stratus. You can have many destinations to GV Director, to send Playout, to a standalone, or why not to your website. You can select one or many of those options to send your work. So I'm going to link that story to the future of farming right here and press send. When I'm going to press send, that project will be sent to the Stratus Conform XRE server, which will take that project, render it, and then transfer it to the right destination for me. As a user, I can now move on right away to something else. We just saw how easy it was to use Stratus and Edu Success together. There is much more things that you can do with Stratus and Edu Success combined together. As we will see later inside our multi-site demonstration, you can also use the same workflow in-house, in the newsroom, or outside in the field as well.